Hello there, my friends. Well, I've gotten a few comments of people asking me about what sewing machine I use. So in this video, I thought I'd go ahead and take out the time and show you my sewing machine. Anyway, about uh, two years ago, I had to retire my um, sewing machine that I'd been using for about 35 years. It was a Chandler Adler a German made ran like a like a German watch would it was so smooth and so quiet and You know what? I wore it out um, Never had it serviced ever um, But really the parts just wore out so I thought I would try to find me a sewing machine That would last me maybe the next 10 years. Maybe I got 10 years in me but uh, gosh, that would be 50 years doing this kind of work at that time. But anyway, what I did is I did a little search and I got what I thought was the best sewing machine for the money at the time. And I'm going to show this to you right now. I'll let you in on a little secret. Back in the day, we used to call these junkies, not jukies, because back then they were made in Japan. And, you know, if you had something that was less than a German made machine, it was a junkie. So what we have here is the Juki LU2810 or in other words in Spanish lingo it would be 2810. The first criteria for my choice was this long arm that you see right here. You see how long that is? Most other sewing machines, commercial sewing machines like this, the arm ends about right here. So about from my hand this way is the opening. But you can see the distance between here and here. That makes it really nice when you're working on large pieces. Um, you can wrap your material in this area here as you're sewing right here. So that is first. The second thing, I wasn't too sure I was going to be getting used to, was I used to use a regular light with a regular light bulb. Just like in the old days. But... This machine here comes with an LED LED light. I guess you can kind of see it right there. Um, in my opinion, it doesn't light up the area as well as a regular incandescent incandescent bulb. Um, but it works. I've gotten used to it, I guess. Third is the knee lift, which is what we have right here. So I hit that with my knee, something like that. And when you do that, most commercial machines have that. But what I like about this one is when I do the knee lift, I get plenty of clearance underneath that foot. So I can put nice thick materials or I can really raise it up to move the material around. So that's one thing that's really nice about this machine that my other machine didn't have. For feet, I have two different types that I use. This here is called a welt foot. You can see that little notch right there. It's like a quarter moon shape, quarter round shape. What that does is that helps guide the welt through as you're sewing it and keeps it in place. So sometimes I use that. Actually, most of the time I'm using that for everything, but sometimes you gotta use the zipper foot. So I just change this out and um, Put the zipper foot and it works really good for zippers. Number four, what I use for thread is, because I've got that question too. So you can see here it says size 92. And that was the thicker thread that you use for commercial sewing machines, not for a home sewing machine. So what I also use is the heavier top thread. You can see how much thicker that one is. As for like sewing um, contrasting color top stitches. Anyway, that size uh, appears to be a T277. Although this one here says T270. So I don't know what gives. This does have a bobbin threader. So what you do is you take your thread, you put it through here. You wind it through here and you can wind up your own bobbins. I've never used that. 
what I use is I use the pre-wound bobbins. So this particular machine here takes M bobbins. So I'm going to show you the difference here between an M and what my old machine used to take, which is the G. So you can see the difference in size between the two. M is a lot bigger than G, which gives you more run time. So that I would highly recommend. Um, actually, the M is too small for this machine. It's really supposed to take a larger U bobbin, but nobody carries them for some reason. I can't find them. So M is the next best choice. For needles, I use the 135 by 17. Number five is the reverse feature. Most commercial machines have a reverse. Um, the older ones don't. So, you know, the older ones, you really have to manipulate it. You got to, as you're sewing, you got to stop your stitch. You got to reverse your stitch by hand and then lock it in and then continue. But most modern machines, they have this reverse here. You might be wondering why that is there. Well, I'm going to show you. This is my tip number 789. So what that is, is I use this to load my bobbins. So what I do is I actually <laughs> kind of use it here as the hook to kind of, because I can't get my finger in there. I don't have a long fingernail or something. So I use it as the hook to open the door. Then I also use the hook to flip that little arm up right there and then I also use it to bring up the bobbin so I pull out the old bobbin I put in the new bobbin like that and then holding the top thread what I do is I, I rotate the machine by hand And it'll pick up that bottom bobbin thread like that and then I use it one last time to hook it like that and pull it out. Now I close the door I'm ready to go. So you know I can probably recognize this from Harbor Freight. Anyway I use it all the time. One thing that I do have to say that I don't like about this machine is all the noise. So, when I run the machine, it makes a lot of noise. So, that's one thing I don't like. My old machine was so smooth and quiet. But, you know, this is Japanese made, or I'm sorry, they used to be ja Japanese made, now they're Chinese made. And I guess they don't care too much about noise. I hope that answers most of the questions. Anyway, I'm sure I missed something. Um, this will help get you by if you're ever thinking about buying a sewing machine for your next career or upgrading what you have now. And uh, there's pros and cons, but there is pros and cons to everything, right? So until next time, we'll see ya.